All right, guys. Um, so today we are showing off Yardrat Goku. Um, now this guy is a very interesting free-to-play unit. Um, we're gonna start breaking him down now. If you don't want to see that, you know, feel free to skip forward a little bit in the video. Um, but you know, if you're rocking with me, let's go. Um, so oh, first off, his stats for a free-to-play unit are not the best. Like having ten thousand, having above ten thousand and two stats as a free-to-play unit is fine, I guess. But like. Obviously, it's nowhere near as high as like the uh, like easy A units because he's not easy aid. But those stats are just a little low. Um, his leader skill he gives in types two key HP attack and defense fifty percent, which is you know kind of a whatever leader skill. Um, his super attack is the instant transmission Kamehameha, which does a pretty damage enemy with a medium chance of stunning, which is you know a decent effect. Um, and then moving on to his passive, he has attack plus fifty nine percent with a high chance of evading enemy attack, including super attack. As the first attacker on the turn, damage received uh, from normal attacks minus 59% and counters with enormous power uh, as the second or third attacker on the turn. So the thing about this passive, um, the first part, like you never want to have him as the first attacker on the turn, ever, because the way that like that activates, like it's not good. So basically, if you put him in the first attacker, um, he will only be able to dodge the second like attack you know because like the first like he'll only be able to dodge it after he attacks is i guess the way that i should say it because um it doesn't know that he's in the first slot until after he attacks um so it's much better to have him in the second or third slot plus he'll do extra damage um i did go max crit on him just because he's a counter unit counter units you always want to give him max crit um his link saying where your race uh saiyan lineage super saiyan experience fighters uh shocking speed chatting limit um, you know what I just realized, like, just now? Um, he does not have prepared for battle, which I thought that he had. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really, this is my first time actually breaking him down. Um, and we're showing him off on the Goku's family team, not pure sands. Um, let's just get into it. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, you see where, like, the Super Battle Road support Goku is. Um, if they were to attack before he attacks, and say he's the other Goku, the other Goku wouldn't dodge. He wouldn't have a chance to dodge, you know? Um, and we actually did get the rotation that we wanted in the very beginning. Um, we will cut at some point to him with LR B-Pan's active skill. Um, but, you know, right now I did just want to get him with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Because Super Saiyan 3 Bardock will give 40% support if he ever gets his passive active. As well as, um, you know, Super Saiyan and experienced fighters. So, they link up pretty well together. Um, and Super Battle Road Goku will also give a support type buff. Um... Shoot, I did for I do kind of forget sometimes that my Super Saiyan 4 Goku has dupes. I don't like using units that have dupes when I'm trying to showcase. Uh, just because then they can kind of just steal the show. Okay, there we go. So now my Super Saiyan 4 Goku doesn't need to get a super, and the friend Goku is 55%. It does kind of suck that we got the instant transmission Yard Rat Goku um, in the 7th slot. Uh, but, you know, that's just how it is when you do showcases. Um... I'm not sure what to expect here, just because I actually haven't watched too many videos on him. Uh, yesterday, actually, did Truth. Ooh, we got a counter. Yesterday, actually, though, um, did Truth did a video of him on the Legendary Goku event, but I have yet to watch it, so I don't know how he does there. I can't show him there because you know global. Um, I'm really hoping global can get that during the Three Million Dollar Celebration, but I wouldn't like bet on it. Um, so here, Bardock doesn't have his passive active, and we can't get a counter with Goku. Uh, so here, Goku, if he dodges, it's just his 5 dodge from the potential system. It's not, um, the part from his passive. Just because it wouldn't activate until he attacks. Okay, 7,000 kind of sucks. 746,000? Hold up. That was a little bit higher than I thought he would be, considering he only has, what is it, 59% attack up? So that, that was actually pretty decent. Um... We're going to keep the friend Goku on rotation because he doesn't have dupes. And there's nothing I can do to not give him super. Everybody here is getting a super. <laughs> Whoops. Um, as long as my Goku doesn't get a crit, we should be fine. I really don't want to speed through this event. The whole reason I hopped in the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event was just um, to get the type advantage. And it would suck if I just kind of sped through him. Um, but this Goku, I would say his best spot is probably on the Super Saiyan team. Uh, Global obviously doesn't have that right now, but the reason I think that's his best spot 
is probably because um, the leader has shocking speed and prepared for battle, so he could be a linking bridge there. Whereas here on the Goku's family team, there's not that many units that just have like shocking speed. Um, so he, he doesn't work super well. Like if there's a support unit on rotation, he'll be fine. But if there's not, he might struggle a little bit for key. Um, see like here, this Gohan actually, <laughs> they they share like a decent amount of links. Um, see now this is just, this just sucks. This is what I mean when this Goku is, he's a unit that exists. Um, because here if we want him to get any counters at all, we need to put him in the third slot. Now because this, this is a showcase, I don't want to float him off rotation, so I guess we're going to do this. So then we can, we can see his chance to dodge. So we're going to look at his chance to dodge. Remember on the first attack it will not be active, but after he attacks it will be. Uh, let's see what his attack stat is here. It should probably be lower. 725,000. I think it was about the same. Um, I don't think he had experience fighters active though. Okay, so no dodge. Dodge the super at least. There we go. Um, so the counters are the main thing that he is like super like different, full, like good and different because of. Um, and if you're not getting counters with him, it's kind of whatever. You, like he's not a great unit. Um, and now I don't have him with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock either because I wanted to get him a super. This is not going great. Um, here we don't really need to worry about finishing Gogeta at all though. Um, especially if we don't get Super Battle or Goku a super, which we're not going to. Um, so we're definitely fine here. Um, maybe Super Saiyan 4 Goku would have tanked better than the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I'm pretty much only running him because I can. Um, I did that video on him a while ago that actually did pretty well. Um, but I really haven't used him much since. Like, he does link relatively well with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, just because they do both have, like, Prepared for Battle and GT and Super Saiyan Fierce Battle. Um, so they share a good amount of links with the Super Saiyan 4. It's just, you know, if I'm going to link someone up with Super Saiyan 4, it's probably going to be uh, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you know? Alright, so here, Gogeta, please attack in the second slot. Oh my god. Whatever. We're going we're gonna to do this. Um... I kind of want to get a super, but I don't want to finish. Uh, that is not enough key. Alright, we're going to give him a super because I don't want to die here. Um, and if Gogeta supers and we don't counter and we don't super, we might die. Um, so here I am floating off Goku. We are going to cut after this rotation uh, to Goku in a better situation. Um, but where Gogeta is aiming his attacks is just the worst that he could possibly aim. Alright, no crit, which is nice. And we're going to be fine. Um, so here we are going to see some counters from Goku. If, well, even if he does get supered, we're, he's getting hit like three times, so we're fine. Alright, 725,000. That's where he's been about this whole time. I'm not sure. Yeah, we can't stun Gogeta. But here, he does have one of the best counter animations in the game, I think. I really like it. It's uh, when he's blocking Trunks' sword. Uh, when Trunks comes back and warms him about the androids. But, I don't know. It's one of my favorite counter animations in the game. Has he crit one time yet? Okay, he did crit on this one. Alright. I was like, I gave him max crit. Alright, so see, like, this is showing how good he is here, actually. There's another crit. See, like, that's why counter units are so busted. That right there. Um, now, it does kind of suck that he doesn't counter everywhere. Um, he's kind of a niche unit, but he is a fun unit. Um, so, right now, I do think we are going to cut to probably him with LR B-Pan's active skill active, as well as Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's passive active. Um, so, we'll be back in a second. Alright guys, um, this took a while, but I think we're finally about to get the rotation with Gardra at Goku. Um, believe it or not, it's kind of hard to get Super Saiyan 3 Bardock passive active, as well as LRB Pan's active skill. Uh, because for LRB Pan to get her active skill, she needs to be on the team. <laughs> um, and for Super Saiyan 3 Bardock to get his, pa his uh, passive active, you need to be low on HP. And B Pan being on a team and being low on HP kind of contradict each other. But I think we are about to get it. Let's see. And... Yeah, alright. We got this rotation. Um... And this is exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> see, Goku needs to be in the second or third slot to get counters. So we can't go in that first slot and get all those counters. Because he would get his dodge chance. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to put B-Pan in the first slot. I'm going to get her active skill. Um... And we're going to put Goku in the last slot so that he can get all those counters. He's still going to have Super Saiyan Fierce Battle active. He's going to have all the links. Um, now I am going to not give a super to anyone but Goku, uh, just so that they don't, you know, kill Gogeta or something. Hopefully my Super Saiyan 3 Bardock doesn't get an additional, but even if he does, he shouldn't finish. 
Uh, it doesn't matter if we heal here. Yeah, B-Pan's additional doesn't really matter. 775k. Alright. B-Pan's pretty high here. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, if he gets an additional, this would be bad. Like, very bad. Because... Okay. 1 million attack from Goku. 1 million attack, and then he's going to get some counters too. So, he did that. Oh, we got an, an additional, and we're going to get one counter. We're going to get one counter, then we're going to finish it, aren't we? Make it a crit? It's not a crit. Well, I mean... He got over a million attack stat with, like, counters, so that is actually pretty good. Um, this Goku, because he has damage reduction, I would actually say he's a good unit. Um, he has damage reduction, he has attack, he has counters. Uh, the only thing that's bad is he does have dodge in that first slot. Um, you can't see the units that I had to bring here to get low on HP, though. Uh, this World Tournament pan isn't good. I, <laughs> I don't want to talk about what I did during that World Tournament. Um... This Gohan isn't good defensively, and, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's tech, so I just kind of, like, stacked up on AGL units to get low on HP. Um, but I think that's where we're going to call it for this showcase of Yardrat Goku. He was surprising, he did a surprising amount of damage. I didn't expect to be able to get him up to a million attack stat, um, but with B-Pan's active skills where Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's passive, uh, he did very well. Remember, he does have a chance to stun. Um, his links are decent for a team, like... Experienced fighters is actually becoming more and more common. Uh, Super Saiyan is a good link, Kamehameha Maha is a good link. Uh, it just kind of sucks that he has shocking speed. It would be much better if he had pre prepared for battle, but, you know. Um, and other than that, he's he's decent, you know. It, it would be much better if he didn't have the dodge chance, but he's good. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribing to the channel. My name has been Bahuru, and I'll see you guys next time.